What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your smart house talk. Now this can be taken a bunch of different ways, but what it really means in this case is that when an event happens or is triggered within your SmartThings hub and ecosystem, a predetermined message or a predetermined variable phrase will play through a connected speaker. Now there's all kinds of connected speakers out there, but they're very expensive. Sonos, that's a big brand one. Samsung has their Wi-Fi connected speakers. I'm not talking about Bluetooth here. I'm talking about a speaker that can connect to the SmartThings platform and play messages. These can range from $150 to like $500. They can get pretty outrageous. But I'm going to be showing you today how to do this for virtually nothing. Um, as long as you have an extra PC or an old laptop laying around, or if you want to, or if you have a Raspberry Pi, or if you want to pick up a Raspberry Pi, I, I think they're going for like 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks. I'll leave a description down below so you can check it out. Now the way we get around using the, one of those big expensive connected speakers is through using a device handler through your SmartThings hub. Now you do need a SmartThings hub to get this starting. Uh, link to my video up there about it. Link down below in the description to pick one up. Now the device handler we're going to be using is called VLC Thing. What that does is remotely control VLC media player through an old PC or through an old laptop or through a Raspberry Pi running Linux. Uh, VLC is a media player if you're not familiar. I'll leave a link below to download it. It's free open source uh, media playing software. It's great. I use it on all my computers. Um, and, and this VLC thing remotely operates that. It's its own thing. You can simply just get that and remotely control your VLC media player if you like, if you want to do that for whatever reason. Now the way we get this to speak to us based on triggered events that happen within our SmartThings hub is through a smart app called Big Talker. This can be used in cohesion with one of those big expensive connected speakers. But when we use VLC thing and Big Talker together, it's virtually free as long as you have the old hardware to go with it. Now VLC Thing and Big Talker were developed by two different people, but when they work together, they work great. So Big Talker works based on these types of triggers. These are just a few examples over here. And what it, what Big Talker can then play on the speakers are some of these variables over here, or a predetermined phrase, whatever you want it to be. If a door opens, you could say, you could have it say, so and so door has been opened. Now the way I have it set up is with the variables using percent device name percent has been percent device change percent. So whatever device that I select will read what device it is and what happened with the device. You can add weather uh, variables to your equation. You could have it tell you the weather forecast when you just wake up based on time of day, based on motion, based on a door that opens. You name it. Let's go see some examples. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so here is my uh, entertainment center in my living room. Uh, this is the old laptop I have running VLC Media Player with VLC Thing in my living room. This is kind of the main unit that I use. As you can see, VLC Media Player is up. up. Oh, this is really the only thing I use it for. So when I'm not using it, I just uh, fold it up and tuck it in one of these cubbies here. So I'll give you a few examples of um, what it's played in the past. I don't really know what it's going to play, but. Back door is open. Back door is open. Nest is now heating. Nest thermostat. Nest is now off. Back door is open. Back door is open. Nest thermostat. Nest is now heating. All right, so those are just a few examples of what has played in the past couple hours. Obviously, if you put it set up for your door, it's gonna get kind of annoying. I have it set up, I'm thinking about taking it off. But as you can see, I have my thermostat on there too. I'm not very creative. You can get pretty creative with it. You can have the weather set up too. I'll give you a quick example of the door. So here's the uh, go control sensor on my back door here. I'm gonna open this and you'll be able to hear it in the other room. Back door is open. So I'm at the Nest thermostat now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up. And in a few seconds, the laptop should play it. Nest thermostat. Nest is now heating. 
Also on a side note, I also have one of these laptops set up in the bedroom and then I have it also set up on my PC in the basement. Let's go check that out. All right guys, back down here in the basement. Uh, I've got VLC also on here. This is the same setup as before upstairs. I'll go ahead and play this last one. Nest thermostat. Nest is now heating. All right, so it's the same one we just heard upstairs. And when the thermostat turns off, we'll be able to hear it turn off also. All right, the first thing we are going to do is sign into the SmartThings IDE. It'll be the first link down below underneath the Amazon links. You're gonna log in and then go to Smart Apps, My Smart Apps. Once you're in My Smart Apps, click Settings, add new repository, take out your username and your and the branch, and you'll want to type in R A Y Z U R Smart Things. Big Talker Master. Click Save. Then you want to do Update from Repo, and then pick the new Big Talker one. Over here, mine says Update. Yours might be or obsolete. Yours might be in New. Go ahead and hit Publish, and then Execute Update. Make sure you click the Publish. Check the Publish box first. Next thing you'll need to do is install VLC Media Player if you don't already have it. I'll leave a link down below to videoland.org where you can download it. Once you have it, go to Tools, Preferences, and then down here, Show All Settings. You'll need to go into Main Interface Interfaces and Enable Web here. By default, it's unselected. Under Main Interfaces, go to Lua, and under Password, type of password. The default password that they recommend is VLC Remote. By default you don't have to enter that within the app but if you want to make your own you can enter your own in the app also. Click Save and you'll need to close out of VLC and reopen it. Since I've already done it it won't ask me but it should um, ask you if you would like to allow it through your firewall. If it doesn't come up then you will need to manually go into your firewall settings and enable the VLC media player. Alright, once that's done, we will go back into our SmartThings IDE, go into under device handlers, create a new device handler from code, and then the code you'll copy into here <clears throat> is from a GitHub page, also linked below. It's by StatusBits, that's the developer. Click on the uh, device types, VLC thing, and then the Groovy file. Click raw, copy all of this, and then paste it into the box. Click create, save, publish for me. Make sure it says publish successfully. Then we'll need to go into my devices and this is where we'll be adding the physical device that you see in your app. So click create new. The name, you can just call it VLC thing. For the label, you can call it one, what you want it to be seen in the actual app. So I'll call it VLC thing basement like I did before. Uh, your required network ID, this can be anything because it will be overwritten. And under types, that's where we'll add the new type that we just added. It'll be at the bottom of your list. Click on it. Version. Published. Location. That's the location of your hub. And then your hub again. Click create. And now your item, your device has been created. Now in the mobile app, to get Big Talker installed, we'll go to Marketplace, My Apps, Big Talker, Configure. Uh, turn that on. And then you can go into these settings. I'm just gonna fly through this real quick. And now you can configure different events to happen with these different triggers. For instance, when a switch turns on, let's say above sync, it will read device name is now device change. So above sync is now on. And when it's off, 
above sink is now off. Click done. Done. And then you can go back into it. I'm oh, sorry. And you can configure events further or you can configure defaults. Now, if you have a main one, you can put this as the default at the top here and you can only talk in certain modes. Now we'll look for the individual device we added, uh, VLC thing basement. So I added a second one so you can see two here. Not sure how it's gonna work with two. So I'll go into one of them and I will go into the settings and under VLC IP address, we need to find the actual IP address for our computer. Oh, back on the PC here, to get the IP address, if you don't know how, you can just go into a command prompt and type in IP config. And what you want is your IPv4 address. So mine happens to be 192.168.1.1. And back in the app, it happens to be 192.168.1.2 something. So I need to change that back to 1.1. Refresh. And now it turned green, so we can test it. The LC for Smart Things is brought to you by StatueSpits.com. And as you can see, it's working just fine now. So from here, we can actually control our VLC media player. So I can push play again, and it should play the last phrase. The LC for Smart Things is brought to you by StatueSpits.com. Now a quick example of how you can control this without using your devices, you could go into one of these streaming directories and I'll just pick something random. And we can pause it. And it's very responsive. Or we could skip to the next uh, station. Alright guys, that does it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new today. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, check out some other videos, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll get back to you. See you guys in the next